So today, a little do-it-yourself project out of the shop. My wife and I are expecting a new baby, and with that happening, we had to uh, frame in a new bedroom in the downstairs. Uh, now, like we already have uh, three bedrooms on the upstairs, but uh, one of my kids is going to have to come downstairs. So my daughter, uh, she's 15 years old, so she's accepted to come downstairs. So uh, uh, she was really concerned about her bookshelf. So when we frame the, the bedroom, because there's a four inch pipe, drain pipe, in uh, the corner there, I uh, got the whole wall four inch uh, thicker, and then I created those two uh, recess where I'll be able to add some shelvings and create a bookshelf in the wall. The bedroom being a bit smaller than what she has already, that's gonna accommodate without taking anything off the floor. I'm right now in my daughter's actual bedroom. Uh, this is a bookshelf that I made for her a little while back and uh, as you can see she's got a few books in it and I know she's got more. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one of the books and make sure that the shelves I'm going to be making in the, the bookshelf downstairs are going to be matching the size of those books. I just finished cutting all the sides, now it's time to do the shelves. So I have some cedar that I'm going to plane down and uh, cut to line to do the shelves. So those shelves have uh, two rough edges because I, I didn't clean that, I just planed both sides. Now I'm going to adjust my fence to trim the one rough edge and then uh, I'll flip the board around to set my measurement and then I'll be able to cut the proper width of the shelf. So here we are with all the parts in. Uh, I've got my sides in and my shelf resting on the sides. So uh, that's how it's going to be able to hold the weight. Um, so I need to prime the wood uh, before I paint it white. And uh, those uh, moldings are like MDF moldings. So they're pre-primered, but I need to paint them the same white as I'm going to be painting those uh, shelves. So that's going to be my next step. Thank you. 
pieces for the bottom and the top here, uh, those ones are all yellow cedar, the same as the shelves. And the reason why I didn't prime them and painted them right away is because uh, all those brand nails, little holes that I see, I'm gonna have to put some little putty on top and I'm gonna have to repaint them here anyway. So I'll do those ones at the same time. They won't be too hard because they're not inside, so that's gonna save me a lot of time. So the bookshelf is all done. Uh, you can see it's all painted, uh, books are in, so it gives you an idea of how it looks uh, all, all completed. Um, the idea for this bedroom was like, because it's a basement bedroom uh, and the floor space is smaller than what she's got right now, uh, we wanted to maximize the existing floor space. So by lifting uh, the bookshelf from the ground up to the wall, and I basically lost about two and a half inches uh, because of that pipe down there. I lost two and a half inches uh, of floor space and maximized it in the wall. I think overall that's going to maximize the amount of floor space she has in her bedroom. So uh, we're pretty happy on how it looks. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, looking forward to see you guys in, in the next videos.